Good morning, my YouTube family. I welcome everyone who will be going through or listening to this devotional today. May you be richly blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Today we are going to be looking at Dealing with Destiny Killers Part 2. Dealing with Destiny Killers Part 2. A Bible passage will be taken from the book of Ezekiel chapter 28, 1 to 19 is a very long verse, but talking about things that have to do with pride and uh, all what not. But we'll take the memory verse. The memory verse is Proverbs 16, 18. Proverbs 16, 18. And it says, Pride goeth before destruction. And an haunting spirit before a fall. May you not fall because of pride in Jesus' name. Amen. Other than the Lord talked about pride, that pride is one of the most dangerous destiny killers that he know of. He said that if there is any altar of pride in you or someone has been telling you that you are proud, say begin to cry to God. Call upon God and ask him to take it away from you while you begin to work on your humility, work on becoming humble, being known and being recognized as a humble person. It is very necessary. Pride is a great destiny killer. According to James 4, 6, it says that God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. If God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble, it means that you cannot achieve any destiny. You cannot achieve your destiny without God's grace being available for you. So if God resists you because you are proud, if God resists you because of pride and because you refuse and he refused to give you grace, that is the end. You cannot be talking about destiny again. That is just the end. Because he has refused to give you grace. Say he resists the proud and giveth grace to the humble. May you be among those that will receive the grace of God in the mighty name of Jesus. And then the Lord went ahead to tell us about his own personal life experience. He said that during his earlier days, as general overseer of the redeemed Church of God. You know, he had this nameplate on his table written Reverend Dr. E.A. Adeboya, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. He said, with that name in the nameplate, he, I think he even added after that PhD, MSc, BSc. And he said that his main aim is to show the onlooker, anybody beholding it, that he's not just an ordinary pastor. He's not just a common pastor. But a pastor that is loaded, a pastor that is a doctor, a, a pastor that has PhD, MSc, BSc, and so on. But God did not like that at all. God looked at it and asked and told him to go and remove that. That he should remove all those things that he has just made him an ordinary pastor. Uh, he just wants him to answer pastor and nothing more. I read in the Lord, be, who can be funny most of the time, say that one thing that he, he means to add in that this thing, that one thing he, he missed to add, that he should have added 
make the, the, the a, a, an empty barrel. You should have added to empty barrel in that name they sing. Why? Because empty barrel are the one that makes the most noise. They make the loudest noise. Well, I think the Lord went ahead and obeyed God's instruction and removed all those things and began to use only pastor. Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Thank God he obeyed because shortly, no sooner than he had done that which God commanded him, God started to lift him. The lifting of God began in his life. So, we must know that pride is a destiny killer. Pride is a destiny killer. There is no doubt about that. Don't let it hinder you from getting to where God, from getting to where God's grace has planned for you. God has a purpose for you. But at times, people can allow pride to spoil and obstruct that purpose of God for their lives. We saw the case of Lucifer. God made Lucifer very beautiful amongst angels. He was very beautiful to behold. He was special. Just as Jacob gave Joseph his son coat, coat of many colors because he was a special son of his, so also God gave Lucifer coverings of every precious stone you can think of. But what happened? Pride. Lucifer used pride, you know, to spoil everything, the good plans and purpose God has had for him. That is why Ezekiel 28, 17 says, Thy heart had lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted <clears throat> thy wisdom by reasons of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. That is it. So today, that Lucifer that was described as bright is now being described as darkness. So when you talk about darkness, you remember Lucifer, who is now known as Satan or the devil. Their names are when you call darkness, anybody's mind will go to Lucifer or Satan. So, if you become proud, you would lose everything that God has planned for you. Know you today that pride is a destiny killer. You must resist it. You must make sure you pray against it if there is any bit of it in you. Do not romance with pride. Kill it so that you can have all the good things that God has prepared for you. Our reflection is check your life for any element of pride. Be honest with yourself. If there is any element of pride, deal with it. Deal with that pride today. Do not procrastinate. Do not hesitate. Check yourself. Examine yourself. Ask God to examine you. It is difficult for you to find out. Ask God to examine you and bring out any element of pride in it so that you can begin to cry unto God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do not forget once again concerning the forthcoming National Holy Ghost Congress. Coming come December 5th, 
to December 10th, 2022. At Redemption City, kilometer 46 Lagos Ibado Expressway. The theme for this year is Double Portion. Ministering is Adadi in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, and other anointed ministers of God who will be there to assist him in ministering unto us. Make it a date. Do not miss that program. You will surely be blessed even as you attend in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate all my returning subscribers. I am proud of you for taking time to come back and check the channel. For those visiting my channel for the first time, I appreciate you. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. Give me a like. If you like this video, touch the bell button so that you'll be the first to know whenever we upload a new video. Do remain blessed and have a great day. Thank you.